Right now, let's take you to this conversation. ANC Deputy President David Mabuza's campaign manager, Andrew Baloyi, has accused the party's electoral committee of manipulating branch nominations. Baloyi says a number of branches that have nominated Mabuza have not been reflected. Mabuza failed to meet threshold of branch nominations to qualify to contest party president Cyril Ramaphosa. Now, let's discuss this. We are now joined in studio by David Mabuza's campaign manager, Andrew Baloy. Mr. Baloy, thank you so much for your time uh, in the studio this afternoon. And of course, uh, you are representing uh, the, um, the deputy president as the campaign manager. These are very serious allegations that you're coming forward with. Talk to us about the basis of these allegations. Look, uh, they're clear. The allegations that we're talking about, uh, they've been there as well. Uh, many branches have returned to uh, the uh, committee to raise uh, issues. I'll give example. Uh, branches have suffered the nomination changes because of when you go to branches, when you nominate, you give a deployee a nominating form. Yes. And there were a lot of allegations that those forms were changed. So what we were asking, we we're asking for a fair process. Normally, before we un they announce the nomination process or the list, the nomination list, uh, it goes through the organizational uh, structures where the regions will call all the branches to verify the nomination and the uh, uh, delegates processes first so that those packages they will be sent to provinces to be able to be counted by the provincial uh, secretary and the secretary of the regions. But in this case, we, we just saw this thing on TV. Uh, I'm a branch delegate, I'm a branch chairperson. We're never being consulted. Oh, I'm not sure as well whether I'm a delegate as well. I'll give an example. In, in Pumalanga, where uh, Comrade David Mabuza is coming from, uh, when you look at the nomination list that has been provided by Comrade uh, Halimam Tlade Committee, it says we are nominated with 61 uh, uh, branches. And it's not true. We are nominated there by 138 branches, and we can prove that. Uh, our chief lobbyist is coming from Pumalanga. He's a PEC member there. He's a treasury there. So if, if you look at that, it tells you that even the delegation going to the conference, there's a crisis. So we need to resolve this issue because then the, the announcement of nomination, it was naughty and damaging campaign of other candidates. That's where we are. But of course, this is led by, you know, the head of the electoral committee, who is uh, Mr. Khalame Mothante, who, uh, in fact, if we look at the numbers, you know, so let's look at the numbers and we've read them out, you know, the um, ANC president Ramaphosa receiving 2,037 uh, branch nominations and Dr. William Keyes and 916, but the deputy president didn't meet that threshold according to the electoral committee, uh, committee saying that he only received 196 nominations, no mention of the number of branches. So these allegations, as I said, are very serious, particularly who they come from. They come from the deputy president. You don't think that the party's electoral uh, you know, committee manipulated branch nomination, that allegation itself, would then count or cast doubt to the entire process um, of this uh, electoral commission? Of course, it will cause a serious doubt. And yeah. it, they have caused a, a serious da damage as we speak now. Yeah. Because branches, uh, they are very angry. A lot of branches, but we said to branches, uh, we are disciplined members of the ANC, we are going to raise this issue internally. But however, we had to come and defend ourselves because the perception out there is that David Mabuza is gone, Ufile. That's what, uh, in fact, we think was created uh, to the country. But uh, if you, what we're asking is very simple. The process mm -hmm. is simple. Call, tell the regions to call all the branches. It's a day process to verify. What we do, we verify, and you take that verification form and the nomination form, you send them to the province. But in this case, that exercise was never done. 
if you can ask uh, the committee, where did they get uh, this nomination? It was sent through who? Who confirmed those nominations? So we're asking for a fair process. I'm glad you mentioned the internal process. So yes. that hasn't happened. Are you saying that you did not approach the electoral committee then to raise these concerns? And I mean, you also said that the deputy president, uh, Mabuza, has been very quiet. Where is he? How is he, you know, conducting his campaign? What is his strategy? Apart from, of course, complaining about uh, the system. Yeah, uh, as a deputy president is there, mm -hmm. as a disciplined uh, comrade, mm -hmm. uh, follow the processes of the ANC, and when the, uh, uh, the process of conference was open, then we started campaigning. Mm -hmm. uh, he's there, but he's not all over and so forth. People understand his strategy, uh, comrade David Mabuz, in terms of campaigning. So, what uh, is his strategy? The strategy is, uh, is renewal mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and unity and rebuild of the ANC. Uh, as you, of course, you have seen the, the uh, one of the, the article uh, last week Sunday that the campaign does not have money. Mm. Uh, of course, we're not dealing with issues of funds. We're dealing with the issues of renewal of the, uh, of the ANC. That's what we're looking for. So what we're asking is the fair process. Uh, I've given you uh, an example of uh, Mpumalang. Look at the, uh, the nomination in Northern Cape. Northern Cape, they're saying it's only Comrade Cyril that was nominated by all branches in the province. Mm. I mean, you, you can question that. I mean, we, you have never seen that. You look at Eastern Cape, they are saying in Eastern Cape, where only Comrade David Mabuz was only nominated by six branches in one region uh, that uh, we have there. They have nominated more than 30 branches. What internal process are you following currently? The internal pro process is simple. It's, uh, we have launched a dispute. Uh, we have compiled, our team have compiled all the affidavit. We have uh, asked the branches to write letters of David to show that in Eastern Cape we have more than six branches, to show that in Northern Cape we are nominated, to show that in Pumalanga we are nominated by more than 100 branches. Mm -hmm. But that on its own, it tells you that if that was changed, even the delegation is going to be changed. Mm -hmm. So we're questioning the whole process, but it can be fixed. We need it to be fixed, but uh, the, the announcement by the committee of Halima Mutlanti, it did damage what the perception, as I said, is that Mabuza is not there. Mabuza is not being wanted by branches. It's, it's, it's a problem. And I know that there are other candidates, in fact, that are complaining. They will still come and, and raise the same issue that we're raising. You talk about the branches in uh, particularly in Pumalanga that yes. are very upset, but we know there are divisions in the province, yes. hence why there was so much, you know, um, confusion in as far as who then do they want to nominate going forward for that presidential you know position but let's talk about now very quickly about the deputy president i mean he was very in instrumental in boosting those numbers for Cyril ramaphosa in 2017 in mpumalanga in the hopes that he becomes president you know what is his plan of action in terms of you spoke about renewal but for the party yes uh Look, uh, the announcement by the Pumalanga PC is the same announcement by the PC of Gauteng. Wait until conference mm -hmm. and you will see. Delegate are going to speak in the conference. But all we're asking now is the fair process, not damage other people's campaign, because we believe that the announcement, as I said, it's a problem on its own. So the ANC must be able to deal with that uh, problem internally to resolve it so that we don't question the credibility of the process. Yes. And in fact, um, I, I like what you said because, you know, Cyril Ramaphosa in his um, uh, briefing to media in London saying that, you know, let's allow branches to have the final say, you know, yes. when delegates vote at the 55th National Conference next month. But thank you so much for your time this afternoon. I think that's where we have to leave our conversation. But really appreciate you coming on. And that's, of course, David Mabuza's um, campaign manager just talking to us there about um, his uh, disgruntledness with how the process is currently unfolding.